So I'm actually standing in the very spot where I was led to make flower essences. Um, it was a very ordinary day. I think I just literally hung out the washing and I came down the garden and walked through this pathway here where we're under the coral tree, which is one of the essences. And my vision started to blur. I saw what I can only describe as perhaps a hologram of color and light. But everything I was seeing went to this other dimension of it being incredible light and vibration, out of which stepped a group of beings. They were very tall, they were very white, their faces were very aquiline. Um, but what I saw was a group. And what they said to me telepathically, if you like, was you are to make flower essences from within the walls of this garden. And then they began to fade away and the vision diminished and went. And I was left pondering this because I hadn't actually ever made a flower essence and I didn't entirely know what was involved. So here's the thing, I kind of uh, had the vision and all my life with apparitions and visions and messages, I receive them, I do it, I receive them, I do it. Manifesting what's told to me, that's what happens in my life. But I went on a big journey overseas and it kind of got on to the back of my mind. And when I came back to Grail Haven on Mount Tambourine, they, the same group actually appeared in exactly the same way again and said, emphasizing, you will be making flower essences from this garden. And my feeling was of feeling quite humbled. And um, yes, I, sh I should have done it. So I would um, get on to that. So what I wanted, because we're now into the Aquarian age, which is group consciousness and take individuals, that's fine, but put that into group, it multiplies and multiplies. So as a group appeared to me, I wanted to work with a group. So I had um, a small group, naturopaths from local colleges, but also psychics, seers, clairvoyants, healers. Not always the same people every week, it changed. Um, but every Thursday morning, once a week, right through the 12 months of the seasons of flowering, uh, we came into the garden to make an essence. So the next question is, you know, why these plants or flowers are not those? I was very much guided. I was told, in other words, which plants and flowers and trees and bushes to make the essences of. and. They wouldn't actually come to me until in the night, the night before the group or in meditation that morning. And they came as almost like, I describe them as slideshow pictures into um, perhaps my third eye. But even more stunning than that, if we go back to the red rose, all night long in my bedroom was a massive red rose that took up the entire room and it was of light and vibration, but for hours in the night, I was being shown the red rose and that was the one to make the next day. And it continued like that. So the, the 38 essences came through guidance, vision, but in making them, the seeing, the hearing, the smelling, the taste, the, the feelings, um, you have to open to all aspects and functions of your psyche to attune to that plant, to, to bring that essence. And an interesting point is that sometimes when that was done and we finished making an essence for that day, and it was a very powerful experience, the first mother tinctures that lasted for some hours, I did notice that in the days following, that plant could lose a branch, 
it's almost like a thank you for making my essence um, or it declined in some way as if, as if at some level we had literally extracted the essence from that plant.